tools have really become a, a very serious part of our business, and that's another reason why I'm really glad that you're here. Yeah. yeah. So, we kind of, that's the cool thing about a podcast, we can go down. Yeah, with that, to cap that off, I, I'll say this, there, there's a reason I pushed hard to get into that tool group. We, we have a really strong group of minds that work together in there, and we're able to, to tackle solutions for customers that uh, otherwise, without that collaboration between our intergroup and Clico and our vendor partners, that we may or may not, I mean, you can't do it alone. So right. There's a, there's a reason I pushed real hard to get into that. Well, this, and, if you take that same thing, though, and you look at the different divisions of air power, it's pretty yeah. remarkable. Yeah. You know, air power understands that that having that knowledge base allows us to make quicker decisions and more efficient decisions for our customers. Um, you know, it's not always the cheap fix, right? No. Sometimes it costs money to make those fixes. And, you know, by doing that, air power understands that we set up our company to where if you are somebody that needs something done in the finishing arena, a process improvement, a system, a booth, uh, paint mixing and metering, PD2K, whatever it is, we have people, we don't have to go back to, most of us don't have to go back to the vendor. Yep. We have such a strong knowledge here. I was gonna say and that. And then okay. when yeah. sometimes you bring in the vendor ahead of time, and you just go in together to deal with it, so you've got an all hands on deck scenario. And you know, we, you guys saw we, we walked through the AFT lab today too. And you know, those guys have projects just it, it's like uh, your rector set city back there, but uh, same thing a bunch of really good minds that are that are focused on delivering. So, uh Let's talk about this. We're going to move it forward. Um, let's talk about our route to market with Clico, with, with I'm not going to mention other names because this is Clico's time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, um, let's talk about that. Like uh, we are, Air Power is a distributor. Yep. Customers either come to us or we go to the customer, and there's either a need presented or we present something that they need, they just don't know. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that. What happens in that process once we determine? Yeah, so from my, my side of things and my process, um, a big reason why I really enjoy what I do is, is because we're, again, I mentioned it earlier, we're, we're a solutions provider, right? So the the path looks like this. I mean, we have a, a base core of customers, and then we we obviously are pushing to gather more customers. But they come to us with either a, I mean, it can be as simple as I need this tool, right? And uh, we're we're able to provide that tool part number. But the beauty of it is they they come to us with problems more often than not, um, or not necessarily problems, but advancements they need to see. Okay. And we're able to analyze that application, take a look at what they're currently doing, what they say they need to do or want to do, and, and piece together a solution with Clico products or any of our other vendors um, and tailor that solution to the application itself. And I mean, that could be, we need more, part, we need more parts out in the day. Uh, we need less rejects sure. that are coming back yeah, with things that aren't, lot. that aren't fastened together <laughs> properly. Or, uh, so, yeah, I get that. Okay, cool. Well, I think I think it's important to say, too, you know, when we when we partner with somebody, right, especially when I'm talking partner, I'm talking, like, high-level partnership like we have with, with AirPower. You know, what's important to us is we can give them the tools, we can train them and, and let them loose, right? And they're, they know how to set the tools up, troubleshoot, and do all that stuff. And the, and the nice thing with working with you guys has been, you know, you guys know what you're doing, right? You guys are experts in this just like we are. So we can do the trainings and stuff like that. You guys let loose and go. So it's been really good in that way. Well, what's what's really cool about that is, though, when you have a customer that's complicated, not because not complicated and hard to deal with, but their, their, their need is a multi-level uh, <laughs> uh, problem. And... <clears throat> At those times is when you guys just make that call and, you know, the account manager with AirPower knows 
that he's got a team of super people behind him, and that he has all the con he or she have a, an amazing confidence when they walk into the customer that they know yeah. that they can handle yeah. anything that they throw at them. And the the hardest job I think for the account manager is trying to get all that data yeah. together so that when they come back and they present it to the team, they're doing it in a way to more, most accurately deliver the problem. Exactly. Communicate what's Communicate going on. Communicate what that problem is. Yeah. And I'm glad you mentioned the account manager because I did gloss over that in our path. Our account managers are the base and heart and soul Absolutely. of what we do. Um, we obviously would not be able to do it without those guys. I mean, they're they're in the facilities all day, every day, and they're the local point of contact for each of their customers. Yep. Um, all communication is routed through those guys. So we uh, we do our best and, and strive to have those guys trained and, and ladies trained as, as well as we can and up to speed on everything that we do, but we task them with so much. I mean, we task them with not only tooling, but finishing and applied fluids. Yep. Um, so they have to be able to touch on all three of those competencies. So yep. it's, it's a, a supreme value to them to know that they've got uh, the specialists in, in all three of those companies behind them to, because uh, my focus is simply tooling account manager runs into a tooling application and, and they call me so yep. or their respective specialists. So. But you know, um, so I'm an application specialist in another division as well and uh, I know there are, there are account managers that in my particular specialty, there are account managers that know that business real, real well. Yeah. But they still call me because they have so many things that they have to think about mm -hmm. and so many yeah. problems across finishing, fluid transfer, uh, tooling. They've got so many things that they're, you know, an account manager is there to sell, right? They have so many products and solutions they're selling that it's just good to have somebody else to help you think it through and make sure, hey, I, this is what I'm going to quote. What do you think? And nine times out of ten on the experienced account managers, I'm like, yeah, man, that's you. Yeah, go for it. You know what you're doing. But there's sometimes that they call and they don't remember that there's been a change, because again, they've got a thousand products over here, yeah. and they call and they say, yeah, what about this? I'm like, no, there was an email. I mean, I sent that out. We've had a conversation, but you want to check on this because, and here's why. And they're like, thank you. I remember that now. Yep. And uh, I'm sure in the tooling market, man. <laughs>